Cheers, Emma. Yes, Daniel has joined us down here in the tunnel. Much better today, I think that's fair to say, isn't it? Yes, of course. It's always a bit difficult uh, to head into a game when you are on the back of back-to-back uh, -back losses because in terms of confidence, it's it's then not perfect. You could have a perfect spell before, but it's always always difficult in such a period. And um, yes, obviously, we wanted to return back to winning ways. I think you felt a bit uh, in the first 20 minutes that yeah, I was struggling a bit with confidence, didn't move the ball easy enough and uh, it's always the same. You have to dig in and, and fight your way into the game and, and after the opener, brilliant brilliant goal from Daniel James. Uh, first of all, good good position play, then good good cross of Daniel James and a good header of Patrick Bamford. You felt then, OK, the confidence is back, everything was easy, we dominated them. Um, I was a bit concerned because we didn't bury the game in the, in the second half in the beginning. Um, but then with the 3-0, everything, everything was, uh, was more or less clear and yes, well deserved then. You had to make some big calls in terms of selection and you've alluded to the fact Patrick Bamford responded really well. That goal will be hopefully a, a big goal for Patrick, maybe. Yes, hopefully, uh, because he had not the easiest uh, season. So I quite often spoke about my... Uh, valuation and appreciation for Patrick and what he has done, and he's a proven goal scorer on this uh, on this level. But he'd also two difficult uh, years, and in the beginning of the season, straight away out eight eight weeks with long term injury, and he's also a bit older. He needs obviously a bit bit longer to to be back uh, at his best. And yes, perhaps also one or two substitutions were they're not great, but I had also a good feeling with him in the last two or three weeks in, in training because there was a period. Uh, when he was also a bit, bit down and, and a bit moody due to the situation. But I got the feeling in the last two or three weeks, yes, he uh, deserved to have this chance. And uh, we got the feeling today is the right moment uh, to put him into the mix. And yeah, thank God it paid off. He was there with a, with a good performance and obviously also with a, with a crucial goal. And uh, it's important for, for Patrick and important also for us because uh, we definitely need him. I like the reaction of the players as well when Patrick scored his goal. Everyone was really pleased for him. But Patrick playing meant Jorginho played in the number 10 role. How did you view his performance? Good. Um, so, first of all, it was um, uh, also important uh, that we have worked with him in the, in the recent um, month because, um, yeah, we need to work, to work a bit on his fitness level, also in his positional discipline if he plays, plays a bit deeper, also in his tidiness and, and uh, narrow spaces so I think he has much improved in the in the recent month and we got the feeling okay meanwhile he's also like from his discipline from his from his tidiness on the ball uh, also from his confidence uh, right now also um, in the position that he can play even a bit, bit deeper role where he has to be a bit more tidy and a bit more bis disciplined and I think he fulfilled it in a, in a in a perfect way and with a target player like like Patrick up front was was then definitely a good good combination and uh, I was quite pleased how this uh, paid off. It's not getting easier in terms of selection, is it? You lose your goalkeeper, the goalkeeper is in for the other goalkeeper, you, Sam Byram again has gone off in that game. There are plenty of obstacles being put in the way at the moment, but the players seem to be ready to adapt. That's why I'm very pleased today, because it was an impressive win, well-deserved win, good for the goal difference, another clean sheet, but... Yeah, also in terms of confidence after back-to-back -back losses, never that easy. It was a bit of pressure that we wanted to win this uh, game today. And then you head into this game, fourth game within 10 days. First goalkeeper not available, second goalkeeper not available. Christopher's a great, great lad, but has never played a game on uh, on this level. Um, then your rock at the at the back, Pascal Stroik is out after 10 minutes. You have to change Sam Byram, important player as we know. Without him, we really have won a game. Uh, is out so many many setbacks, but uh, the lads responded in a in a in a good way and were on it. And and today it was important to show togetherness and and unity. And the players who were in the spotlight, Junior Fipper had to come in. So I'm not sure when when he was last time there was was a game over over 80 minutes. So um, I was really really pleased that uh, everything in the end worked out and was such a such a good performance. Not perfect because we had also one or two losses in the, in the second half of the ball that were unnecessary, but. Then also great will to recover the ball and win the ball back and to return back to the dressing room with a clean sheet. Um, many, many compliments today to the lads. FA Cup next week, what do you do with that in terms of your selection? Have you decided yet? First of all, we need right now also to calm the load a bit down. As we are since three weeks without a day off. The lads deserve right now also two quieter, quieter days. We'll also analyse the festive period a bit and then... Yes, from, from Thursday on, we concentrate on the FA Cup. We want to go into the next round. We will put a strong side, uh, side out because we want to be successful. And, and after this is also 
um, a normal, more or less normal weeks with just one game per week. We also don't want to lose our rhythm after a good game uh, today. So obviously, perhaps you can expect a few changes, but definitely also in a, in, a, in a way that we want to win this game. Yeah, because I'm a deep believer also in cup competition. I know it's perhaps not realistic that we win the FA Cup, but who knows? So uh, go round by round and uh, we want to go into the next round. There's also no doubt about this.